Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Wix animations using Wix code or known as Corvid. What's up you guys? Thanks for tuning in with your boy Nino. I got a tutorial for you guys today on how to use Wix animations for different objects. Okay, so let's get started. So first you wanna go over to your add button, click add, and then let's just drag a, a uh, logo over. Let's see, what logo do I want? No, how about this? Let's just drag over an image free by Wix, okay? So we'll go to our Wix media, manage media. We're gonna go in here and get this cute little puppy. It's a cute little puppy. All right. So what we want to do here is we want to center this. If we can ever get centered, there you go. And then we'll go straight through the animations here. So this is the animation tab. Uh, what you wanna do here is you wanna click that and then you have all of these different animations that Wix will show you, all right? So I'm just gonna show you the basis of all of these here right now. Uh, please leave in the comments below if you have any questions about animations uh, that Wix has to provide. Uh, these are really great animations for you to get creative with uh, all of the different types of styles that you want to display on your website. Okay, so I want to add a nice glide in, all right, or a nice fade in, because it looks a lot cuter. So if you want to customize it, you just click on fade in, then you go to your customize, then you go and you can customize your duration or your delay, okay? Also, you can animate this only for the first time. And I really think that this is very important to have, especially on websites that you just want people to catch their eye or something with it. Uh, this is very important to uh, use. All right, so we can use this fade in option uh, and then we'll just keep this tab off. All right, now if you go into, say for instance, you have, uh, let's see, a puff in, okay? If you wanna use this puff in, and you want to customize it they have different power levels okay so you can actually have a soft puff in which you can play that that's like really nice soft you can do a medium touch to it which that's just medium and then the heart is like right in your face pretty quickly and it comes straight down like that so some of these animations have that power level that you can actually put to soft medium or hard and it's just your preference on how you want to make this animation uh, fit. Now, let's go ahead and start to use Corvid. So head on over to your development mode, you turn on dev mode. Okay, now what we want to do here is we want to animate this thing. Okay, so as you can see, I already have the animation here. Now we can actually click none. Okay, if you want to use uh, part of this animation like when it first shows up then yes you can use the animation tab but say for instance you want it to show up as well as you want it to uh, go away uh, and hide well that feature only exists if you can do it in Corvid otherwise everything else will show automatically uh, with your animation. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to bring in a button, okay? Just to make this a lot simpler for you guys. All right, so we're gonna bring in a button and then we're going to uh, give a nice little button for our cute little picture friend uh, of the dog. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna move this right here, all right? And we're gonna actually make this as a switch. Okay, so we're gonna switch this to uh, show and then switch to hide. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do an on click, okay, and we're going to go ahead, press enter, uh, and then go here, and uh, let's just do a if then statement, okay? 
So we're going to do an if then state if else statement, excuse me. Uh, and what you're going to do here is you're going to type in this. All right, so you're going to go here to your image. Okay, image one. And then you're going to go to is it hidden? Okay, so this is indicating if it's visible or hidden. And you want that so that this can continuously go on and on as you click. Okay, so what we did here is we have the hide and show sequence already in place. And so now what we need to do is put in the animation. So I'm going to get one of my animations that I really like, which is the fade in. Okay, the fade in effect. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a fade option. Okay. So we're going to do fade options. Okay. And then we're going to put that in curly brackets. All right. Then we're going to go and set the duration. Okay. To a time that we want it. Uh, so say for instance, I want it to be at 1000. Okay. So now what we need to do is set the delay time, which I don't want any type of delay, but we can actually set a delay which I'm going to do for 500. Uh, and that is a half a second. So if you guys could just use Google or use Bing, uh, you guys can actually uh, figure out why these numbers are uh, in, in, in this form of fashion in order to indicate like what's the second or what's half of a second. Okay, so we don't actually need that uh, extra comma. All right, so once we're done with that, we wanna actually end with a semicolon. Okay, so now that we got the fade options uh, already set for our uh, image, what we wanna do here is go back down to our button click, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're going to look at the image, all right? And we're gonna actually show the image, okay? So if hidden, if it is hidden, which it is gonna be true, then we need to show it, okay? And then when it is hidden, uh, when it is shown, we want to hide it. And so that's where it will come in the else. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say show, and then the effect name is going to be fade, okay? Just like we saw in our animations tab, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna trim that thing down, uh, keep options here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put fade in front of it okay as you can see uh automatically wix already automatically detects that for you uh but we already have it here so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy this whole thing okay control c or command c if you're on mac okay and then what we're going to do is we're gonna change this show to hide okay and all you need to do is click off of here okay and boom you have your setup great all right, so now all we have to do now is test it. All right, so we're gonna test this sucker out. So what we need to do first, actually, is we want to see the animation happen off, off jump, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're going to show it. All right, uh, so I could have actually did the control uh, V or command V in order to paste that same option down. Now, what we want to do is we, we want to see the results happen. So what we'll have to do is we're gonna have to hide the image, okay? Once we hide the image, we go to preview, okay? And then boom, it shows up as commanded uh, when the console is run, okay? Now let's go ahead and click this button, all right? So it's gonna hide for us, that's great. Now we're gonna click this button again and it shows for us. So boom, there we have it. We have a fully function fade in, fade out effect, okay? Now, if you guys wanna get creative with this, what you guys can do is uh, go back to the editor and you see this here right here, it says Corvid Resources. All you have to go is to API Reference, okay? And once you get to API Reference, you can actually go here and search up uh, effects. Okay, when you search up effects, that effects option panel right here 
is what you click on okay that is going to be where your animations live and that is going to be the table contents of all of your animations here that you can actually use and get creative with i just showed you one simple example of a fade in fade out effect it's the best i think in my opinion but definitely leave in the comments below what is your favorite effect option or animation that you like to put on your website and leave in the comments below if you have any questions or concerns i really appreciate you guys listening in and man this is just a great thing okay so if you guys have any questions just drop it below if you think this video is worth the thumbs up definitely get it a like uh subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you in the next video, okay guys? Alright, ciao.